uh, how is comedy structure different from other structures. Uh, I, I, my friend Chris Vogler uh, wrote uh, The Writer's Journey, and uh, he was uh, uh, riffing off of Joseph Campbell's uh, The Hero uh, with a Thousand Faces. And uh, so my book, which is you know kind of stealing from him, but it's okay because he's a friend, uh, is, is showing uh, that there are differences. I don't think that there are, um, that there are differences to the point where you, it's no longer recognizable. I mean, uh, dramas have three acts and comedy have three acts. But the differences uh, in, uh, in a comedy, for instance, uh, in, in, the, in the writer's journey, in, the, in Joseph Campbell's work, The Hero's Journey, um, you start off with a hero that has greatness within, right? Uh, and uh, they just need a spark or a call to adventure to release that greatness and go out into the world and, and get the elixir and come back. Uh, but in a comedy, we're talking about people who do not have greatness within. Uh, our characters have, uh, are, are screwed up. Our characters have, have holes inside them. They do not have greatness within, but somehow some, uh, some otherworldly force or circumstance pushes them outside their comfort zone and they're forced to try their best to, to, to adjust and to, and to take what's you know, dealt them and, and do their best. So in, in the comic structure, uh, what you basically have, I mean, the basic comic paradigm is uh, a person is, uh, is in uh, a precarious position. They're in an awkward position in life. Uh, but they don't realize it. They think, they think that standing on one foot with their nose, you know, the hand on their nose and the other hand, you know, uh, you know behind them is, is the normal way to live. And then some event, some circumstance, some inciting uh, action pushes them off balance. And they spend the first part of the story desperately trying to regain the same awkward uh, impossible position that they were in, and then they come to realize that no, the the position that I need to be in is is a new position. I have I have to find a new stance to be in the world, so that so that uh, all comedy is magical because because people transform, um, and I mean some psychiatrists will tell you that people don't change. You know, you marry a jerk. 30 years later, you get an older, fatter, balder jerk. But in comedy, uh, characters transform, characters change. And so all comedy is transformative. It takes somebody who's a jerk, like Bill Murray in the beginning of Groundhog Day, and it transforms them into, a, into um, you know, what we would call uh, uh, in Yiddish a mensch, a, a good person, uh, a, a worthwhile human being, um, so that uh, so that in structure, what you're looking for is you're looking to, to figure out how you can talk about those character transformations, how you can set up uh, the forces that will create those character transformations. And so you go through um, uh, the normal world to WTF, the, the thing that changes them, and then you have reaction where they're trying to desperately return to the normal world, and then you have connections where all of a sudden characters are, are making new connections, new allies, um, having, uh, revealing themselves in ways that they didn't reveal, and then you have new directions where they're trying to find new ways of being in the world, um, and then uh, disconnections, uh, usually there's a, a point two-thirds of the way through, but sometimes it, it happens early in the movie, sometimes it happens in the middle of the movie where characters lose themselves, they, it's the dark night of the soul, and finally race, race to the finish. Um, one of the big differences in comedies is that you have the discovered goal. Um, in, in Star Wars, what's Luke's goal? He says it right in the beginning, I want to join the rebellion. I want to do something important. And what happens? He goes off on the Millennium Falcon. He joins the rebellion. He does something important. So he's known that from the get-go. 
he, he doesn't discover that that's something that's been with him the whole time and, it, and, and the greatness within allows him to achieve that. But in comedy, you have the discovered goal because most characters, most protagonists in comedy, have their initial goals are selfish and short-sighted. All, all uh, Andy wants to do in 40-Year-Old Virgin is be left alone and play with his dolls and toys and video games and he's happy. You know, um, he's, he, he walks awkwardly when he first gets up in the morning, but hey, he'll figure out how to live with that. Uh, what does Bill Murray want to do, wants to do in, in Groundhog Day? All he wants to do is uh, be a weathercaster at a bigger news station. That's all he wants to do. But along the way, they discover, as they're transforming, they discover a new goal. All of a sudden, Andy not only wants to have sex, but he wants to have a relationship. He wants to find love with uh, the character that Catherine Keener plays. Uh, all of a sudden, uh, Bill Murray wants to be a better person. He, he realizes, you know, I want to do more than simply be selfish. I want to learn how to play an instrument. I want to help somebody if uh, they have a flat tire. I, I, I want to find a better way of being in the world. So, so along with uh, all the other differences in comedy, there's there are these slight differences. Yes, comedies like dramas have beginning, middles, and ends, but within that, there are all these subtle differences that hopefully will justify my writing a whole book about it.